Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, let's have a look at this uh, new laptop that was launched by Asus, uh, that is known as the Asus Stuff F15. For a change, generally all these companies generally sent us the highest end variant of their gaming laptop. But for a change, and I've been asking all the companies to send me the base variant or something around that. But that's the one that most of the users will uh, buy. And they have actually sent us the base variant that comes with the Core i5 uh, processor. This is the latest Intel 12th generation processor. And I was a little bit skeptical to be very frank when I got this laptop. But man, when I started testing this, the performance of this laptop is amazing. It beats many of the laptops uh, that come with the Core i7 uh, variant from, if you compare from earlier until uh, 10th or 11th generation. So let's have a look at this laptop now. So guys, this is the ASUS Stuff Dash F15 uh, laptop. And this actually comes with a 15.6 inch screen. In fact, it comes with three different screen variants. The one that we have is the basic one. This is a full HD one uh, at 144 hertz. We also get a 2.5K uh, screen and also 300 hertz uh, screen. So you have a lot of options. And uh, we do have that backlighting. As you can see, that's white in color. And the keyboard is a full size keyboard. Even we do get a numeric keypad. Uh, initially, I found it a little bit difficult to type because if you notice, the key Keys are stretched all the way towards the side, but after a day or two, you get used to it. The key travel actually is actually pretty good on this uh, laptop. And uh, you have a decent uh, size number pad also on this one. But let me first give you a physical overview. And if you notice from the inside, it looks uh, mostly black in color. But if you notice outside, this is actually a dual tone uh, finish that you're getting. And in fact, this is actually uh, uh, aluminum finish that you're getting on here and looks pretty sleek. Uh, we also have some LED LEDs over here to denote what is happening. And if you go towards the back, uh, this back is actually plastic guys, but we have a lot of vents here to dissipate the heat and you can easily actually open this up to access the memory slots and even the SSD. So that way it is expandable uh, and also it does not weigh too much. This weighs just two kilograms and that's decent for a gaming laptop. What I like is on this end, if you look, we have a lot of ports over here. We have the headphone combo jack, then we have a USB type A port. Uh, we have a USB type C port and this is actually uh, a Thunderbolt 4 port. So you are getting Thunderbolt 4. Uh, this is a HDMI 2.0. This is a proper, uh, what do you say, gigabit uh, LAN port that you are having. And here the power adapter will go. You can also charge this laptop with the Type-C uh, port up to 100 watts if you want. But for gaming and stuff, you have to use the power adapter that's the, there. Uh, vents here to dissipate the heat. And on the back also, we have actually a lot of vents to dissipate the heat on this uh, laptop. Again, on this end, uh, we have some vents. And we also have one more type A uh, port. So that's regarding the ports that you get on this uh, laptop. And it's easy to open it up with a single hand like this. Uh, but you don't get any fancy, what do you say, fingerprint sensor or anything on this uh, laptop. So that is something that is uh, missing on this laptop. And I like the fact that this comes uh, pre-licensed with Windows, uh, the home and student. So you get applications like Word, Office and all those things are pre-loaded. So you have a, a lifetime license of the same on this one let me just get out of this one and again it's a fast laptop it's a modern laptop uh, what i like with this laptop is that you go with any version you're going to get the mux switch which is actually a pretty good feature for gamers if you're sort of heavy gamer you'll appreciate that and all these laptops come with the more powerful ddr5 ram which is way more powerful compared to the older ddr4 RAM. also this is dolby vision and dolby atmos certified and again, guys, as it's a laptop, you can configure it into various variants. What I have specifically here is the base variant that comes with the Core i5 variant. That's the 12450H. Uh, this is eight core processor with 12 thread, but you can configure it with the Core i7 uh, processor if you really want. Same thing goes for the screen also. Uh, the one we have is a 15.6 inch screen. This is the base screen with 144 hertz refresh rate, but 63% sRGB. But if you want more color accurate screens, you have the 2.5K screens. And also, if you're a hardcore gamer, you also have a screen that's a full HD with but 300 hertz refresh rate. So you have all those options available. Uh, coming to the GPU, this one again uh, has the base, the, has the sort of the base weighted. This is having the 30, RTX 3050 GPU with four gigabytes of RAM. To give you an idea, let me show you. But you can configure this laptop with the RTX 3070 uh, up to 105 watt uh, variant. So again, as it's a laptop, you can configure it as you like. Uh, and uh, let me just zoom in to give you an idea. 
As you can see, uh, the processor is the Intel Core i5 variant. This is the 12450H. Uh, Again, you can configure it even with the Core i7. But this is actually no slouch. I'll show you some of the benchmarks. I was amazed with this. This is the latest 12th generation processor from Intel. And this is actually a 8 core processor. Uh, there are four performance cores and four efficiency cores. Uh, the performance cores are dual threaded. Uh, so that is 8 core and yeah, four efficiency threads. So a total of 12 threads that you are having on this one. Uh, the main board is of, of, of uh, made by ASUS. Uh, memory, as I've told you, DDR5 RAM, 8 gigabytes of RAM, but you can expand it easily. Up to actually 32 GB is supported on this uh, laptop. Uh, graphics built in the Intel USD graphics, but again, uh, the main external GPU is the NVIDIA RTX 3050 uh, with 4 gigabytes of RAM. You can configure this up to 3070 also if you want. So that's uh, regarding uh, the configuration. Uh, but what I have done is I have actually uh, ran some benchmarks because I was also very curious. Let me just zoom out a little bit and uh, I've run some benchmarks if you go to the benchmarks uh, first let's start with the Geekbench 5 and again guys I'm just using these because you can also download these software for free on your uh, laptop or your computer get an idea and as you can see very impressive uh, single core performance of 1574 and multi-core this is where I am impressed 7452 uh, even the MacBook Air M1 that comes with the Apple Silicon I think so that caps out at about 5990 so again very very fast performance uh, I also ran the uh, Geekbench uh, 5 for CPU opens here again because of the dedicated RTX uh, 3050 again as you can see very good score of 61 so what does this mean? Uh, many of the games, uh, popular Windows games, you can easily run at medium graphics settings and some of the settings at high settings also you can do. But again, if you are sort of that hardcore gamer, then I would say upgrade it to the RTX 3060 or even the 3070. But for most users or if you are say if you are professional or something, this is actually a very good score. Now coming to the uh, CPU performance, so I was very very skeptical. Uh, R23, again, you can download it and run it and again here. I was amazed with this one. Just notice the single core score, 1685, which is one of the highest, as you can see, it is beating even the AMD Ryzen 7, the Intel Core i7, etc. All these laptops, even the Intel Core i9, um, it is uh, beating it in the single thread score. So amazing score that I, uh, I got and I ran it multiple times and I got this uh, uh, score. And even the multi-core score as you can see is amazing 9845 which is an amazing score. I never expected that this laptop will get these good scores and that actually reflected in the general performance of this uh, laptop even when I was playing around with 4k video editing the editing was uh, nice on this laptop. So what does this mean? This means that this laptop is actually pretty pretty powerful. Moving to software it comes with Windows 11 and you also have this armory crate uh, using which you can actually control uh, all the aspects of the laptop for example. As you can see, uh, we have the silent mode. You can move to the balance mode. Uh, for example, you can go to the turbo mode and even the manual mode. For the turbo and the manual, you have to, uh, to have the power uh, connected. I did all my testing uh, in the turbo mode, the benchmarks that I was running. And you can control a lot of aspects of the laptop using this one. Uh, this is something similar to the ROG uh, uh, series of laptops that you get. So you get that in terms of that. Uh, now, another thing is that uh, moving to the, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, or speakers let's uh, look at the speakers and uh, let me just play back this uh, copyright free music let me lower the brightness let's just go over here and i'm going to increase the volume this is 100 percent guys As you can see guys in terms of volume it's not a problem it's decently loud in fact it has two speakers here at the bottom one over here one over here but I feel uh, if you notice uh, this front area you have this bezels they could have also embedded a speaker here and a woofer here that would have given it a lot more depth not to say that the speakers are not great uh, it's good but they could have been a lot better in my frank 
opinion uh, now uh, moving to the webcam we also have integrated webcam over here which is a 720p webcam so let's have a closer look at the same hi guys recording this video with the built-in webcam of this asus uh, tough dash laptop Top, and the audio is also being recorded via its internal microphone. This is, uh, this is the video quality that you can expect for video calls, Skype calls or Zoom calls that we are doing these days. So guys, this is the Asus Tough Dash F15 laptop. Overall, I would say it's a pretty good laptop. As I've told you guys, uh, the version that I have that comes with the Core i5 uh, 12th generation variant, this is priced at about 92,000. I'll have the exact pricing over here. And uh, it starts with 90, but this is that uh, 92,000 uh, variant. And I was very skeptical considering this one has the Core i5 processor. But as we saw with actual performance of this Core i5 uh, variant, it's actually blazingly fast. One of the fastest that I've seen, in fact, beats a lot of Intel Core i7 variants. In fact, that's the difference, guys. If we compare this uh, uh, Intel uh, Core uh, 12th generation processor from the 11th and 10th, these are a huge leap in performance. And I like the fact that uh, though the performance was very good in benchmarks, we saw some crazy numbers on the R. 23 which i simply did not expect considering it's a core i5 variant and in single thread it uh, beat out many of the core i7 variants also uh, i like the fact that yes this has fans uh, ample fans and yes it uh, uh, becomes slightly loud if you keep it on the turbo port but it was not super super loud considering the performance what i had so i feel this is actually a pretty powerful laptop not only for gamers but i know many people professionals consider a slightly powerful powerful windows laptop for example let's say if you are a video editor or work with large graphics or something like that then uh, having a basic gaming laptop makes a lot of sense for working professional so even if you are that kind of a person let's say you do some video editing and stuff you can go with this uh, laptop Top, the, uh, the Core i5 variant is actually pretty good even for 4K video editing. The only upgrade that I would personally do on this uh, specific laptop is uh, this base variant comes with 8 gigabytes of uh, what do you say RAM. I'll actually, uh, we can actually open up the back very easily and we have actually one more RAM stick slots. There are two slots. One is bundled with that 8 gigabytes of RAM. I'll add one more 8 gigabytes of RAM to make it 16 gigabytes. That way, I would say uh, this becomes a pretty powerful uh, laptop even for working professionals and again uh, if you are sort of uh, critical with the uh, the screen quality and all this as i've told you this is the base variant that comes with that 144 hertz uh, refresh rate this is 63 percent srgb but we also have a color accurate screen uh, you can configure this with a what do you say a 2.5k screen which is 100 percent dcpi3 so even great for uh, color reproduction and all those things for color critical work and they have one more screen with 300 hertz refresh so I like the option that what Asus is doing is these Asus guys are giving you as a person options what do you really want with the laptop and for the performance that we saw this is actually a pretty good laptop and uh, the good thing is that this uh, laptop will be available in a lot of places not only just Amazon Flipkart and stuff like that but in a lot of big uh, retail uh, stores and even Asus uh, retail stores and even uh, what do you say Asus ROG stores so I would suggest that you go there and check it out in person and have a look at this laptop apart from this asus has also launched the uh, slim what do you say tablet uh, form factor uh, that uh, z flow that i had covered about four or five months ago uh, that also is actually launched in, in india uh, and uh, that is also official available in india so what i'll do is i'll also leave the link of that one in the description but anyways guys that's it for now for this uh, laptop what do you feel about this asus tough 2022 edition that comes with intel core uh, uh, our 12th generation processor do let me know in the comment section below anyways guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys